Okay, I think everybody knows how much I love spooky season. And when you add in a charcuterie board, oh, on a skelly too, it takes my favorite time of year up a notch. Kimberly Pettit is here to share how to make your own charbooterie board. Charbooterie, you said that so well. <gasps> I did. Kimberly, you are so much fun. Oh, I thank you. love when you're here and I thank really you. like what we're doing Yes, today. we are making it easy. So charcuterie boards are all the rage and I like to make them simple. So I love a good, you know, brie and cheese charcuterie mm -hmm. board and they can get really fancy on Pinterest and kind of get a little overwhelming. Yes. But I like to take what my family will actually eat because they're not going to eat brie. Mm -hmm. They're not going to eat cheese. And I throw it on a family sized charcuterie board and I get things that they will actually eat. I mean, that's the way to go. Yes. And for me, I've got my seven and two year old who they would pass up all of that good, decadent stuff that you're spending quality money yes. on. And this is what they want. I'm yes. seeing some grapes, rollos, pretzels. This yes, is how absolutely. to do it. Absolutely, this is absolutely how to do it. So, and I, my motto is take 10 minutes extra of your time if you're providing them a snack anyway. Throw it on a charcuterie board and make it fun. Yeah, it makes it so much more fun, and they're likely to eat probably whatever you will put. So maybe you sneak something a little bit healthy. Yes, I see you've like got a mix. Through. Yeah, we all. I always have a mix. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I have a sweet tooth, so I will, you know, eat the sweet stuff first and leave them the grapes. Okay, so how do we get started? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to make you do it because oh, it is Kimberly. so easy. Okay, so fine. easy, and it literally is going to take us five minutes. All so right, we're we just going to start throwing stuff on there. So I've already placed on this one the dark things for the eyes and the mouth. And then all you have to do is add the popcorn to make it a white skeleton. So we're just going to dump it and oh, make it you're beautiful. Gonna totally spill we're going to cover it up. Surround. So we're just okay. going to surround Watch, everything I can do that. here. Oh, she okay, can do wait, it. I can She's do that got part. this. Hold on. She's got this. Okay. So what are some tips and tricks? Because I know you want to think about spacing. Yes. So I always say fill it up. I feel like that is the biggest mistake that I see when people make their own charcuterie boards at home is they just put little things here and there and they have a lot of space on the board. I say fill it up, stack it up. If you need to find a smaller board with a similar concept, make a smaller board. I have four boys and so we eat a lot at our house. So I do family size, huge charcuteries. But if you just have two little kids or one little kid, a small miniature size charcuterie, similar concept here. You can put the popcorn and then the fruit around oh, treats cute. around. So you just do it for the size of your family. Oh, that's so a great tip. Fill too. it up, stack it up, is okay. what I say. Well, four boys, I mean, they're going to yes. devour it in how we long? We eat lots at Two our seconds. house. Yeah, yeah we go, we go through, the grocery bill is our largest bill. Yeah. It's fantastic. That's what happens when you're a boy mom. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, so now we're just going to fill in. It doesn't matter if they've fallen all around the edges. Because we're we'll going to fill it. Yeah. I'll eat it after. Exactly. It's fine. So now we're just going to fill in however you like with anything. So I always just dump things. I'm just literally dumping. Oh, we don't even have to pile. be that careful. No, I'm trying to like be that very is artistic. what makes a charcuterie board. Oh, just so around simple. The just throw it around okay. the skeleton, and you're good. I'm going to throw some cookies on there. Um, and you know we love the cookies, so we're gonna get lots. This of This might be on my there. favorite recipe. Right, easy I, recipe. This is something love I can this. get behind. You want to throw? Yeah, should we throw do some the fruit, fruit in there? Yeah, let's Put throw some the fruit, fruit in, in there. The mix. But it is fun to get artistic and decide yes, where you want to place it. There is a fun design, it. and there is certainly a place for more elaborate. I've I've loved doing candy charcuteries and things for movie night charcuteries. Um, you can do a charcuterie literally for any time. I've done taco charcuteries for dinner and. Oh. And I'm already making the tacos. I'm coming so to your house. So it takes 10 extra minutes, right? And Anybody's you invite me welcome. Next time anytime, you do that. Anytime. But Absolutely. Yeah, you're right. So maybe. I'm just going to scooch this over because we really want to Oh, we're just packing it, it in. Okay. Yeah, we're piling it up big. And whether big you're dog. with yeah. the girls and the adults or again, yes. this is for the family. So Absolutely. everything's going to be different. Tell me about your ebook. So the ebook is, um, it's there's six different charcuteries available within the ebook. And each of them have a picture as well as uh, an instructional that shows you all of the ingredients that you need. So basically you can just print it out, take it to the grocery store with you, and then there's specific instructions on how to put it all together. Obviously this one's so easy that you're just throwing things on here, but how to put it together. Um, and then I do have links um, for charcuterie boards as well. And one of my, and then I have some extra, I have five essential tips for my charcuterie boards and one of them is 
making sure you're stacking it up high, filling the board, and then the other is extras. I love being a little bit extra. I'm Ugh. not gonna lie. I'm but just liking you more and more as we go on. It doesn't have to be elaborate. A little, <gasps> just makes, it just kind of takes it up a little bit of a notch and makes it look a little bit more professional in the presentation, so. I love it. Okay, how yeah. did I do? Excellent, and see, it only took as much time as this segment It was. timed out perfectly. So easy. That was my first charcuterie board making. Usually <gasps> oh, I just am there to eat them, but yeah. I made it and now I will still I eat it. it. All right, Kimberly, KimberlyMarieLifestyle.com and use that code GTU5. You get $5 off of that ebook. Yeah. This was so much fun. Follow her on all social media platforms as well and we will link to this on our awesome. website. <gasps> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Okay,